In this video, I'm going to show you the best Steam settings for low-end PCs. So head on over to Steam in the top left corner, and from here we're going to go to Settings. Now once you're in Settings, the three key areas we're going to be looking at are Interface, Library, and Download. So let's first start with Interface. Now when it comes to these settings at the top, this is completely personal preference. However, when it comes to client beta participation, I recommend you turn this off to no beta chosen. So it doesn't have betas running on your system for games because oftentimes when you have these low end PCs, they're probably not gonna be doing too well, especially if you're running into bugs. Now, when it comes to these options down here, scale text and icons to match monitor settings, that's totally fine to leave on. When it comes to running Steam when your computer starts, unless you intend to use it every time you turn on your computer, I recommend you turn this off. When it comes to asking which account to sign into, if you only have one account, you can leave this turned off. Start Steam in big picture mode, no, I'd leave that off. And when it comes to these three settings, enable smooth scrolling in web views, enable GPU accelerated rendering in web views, and enable hardware video decoding, I recommend you turn all three of these off. Now do bear in mind you are going to have to restart Steam in order for this to take effect, but this will help with performance. Now when it comes to library settings, low bandwidth mode, low performance mode, and disable community content, you want to turn all of these on because when it comes to Steam, if you leave these settings off, it downloads a lot of extra stuff you don't necessarily need. It gives you graphical improvements you don't necessarily need. So for a low end PC, you want to have all of these turned on. Now, when it comes to some of these other settings, this is more so personal preference. So you can leave them or turn them off if you'd like. And when it comes to downloads, make sure you're using the correct download region. You can leave limit download speed turned off, schedule auto updates as personal preference, allow downloads during gameplay you want turned off with a low end PC. In addition to having low internet, that could be a disaster. Throttle downloads while streaming, you can leave that turned on. Display download and bits, you can leave that turned on. Clear download cache is important because sometimes uh, you can have issues and by clearing your download cache, uh, on a semi-regular basis, you can avoid issues surrounding downloading or starting applications. So once in a blue moon, maybe once or twice, three times, four times tops per year, uh, if you're playing a lot of games, clearing download cache can help. Now, as far as those settings go, this is probably going to give you the most bang for your buck for performance for your low-end PC on Steam. But some other quick things you could do is go to your desktop, right-click, go to personalize and from here we're going to go to gaming and we're going to go to game mode and you want to turn on game mode which is going to optimize your pc for playing games by turning things off in the background not only that if we go back to our desktop right click go to show more options and go to NVIDIA control panel, you wanna make sure that we're running performance mode. So go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure this is set all the way to performance rather than in the middle or quality. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.